the whole city series Cigars and citrus sevens, black cement threes, fours The hairs and bread elevens No doubt that I'll be wearing some fire at any sighting With these door and becker fives you can see me in any lighting It's exciting, I'll be flexing to the coldest degree What's up everybody, Sneakerhead M Checks I got these dark iris Jordan threes scheduled to release Saturday, July 9th So as usual, we're gonna take a close detail look at the shoe for more angles After that, I'm gonna put them on and step around them So y'all can see how they look on feet Then I'll share my opinion on the shoe And then we'll discuss release and reselling predictions and all that stuff so let's get right to it. They got that really dark gray elephant print on the toe. And as you can see, these came really pre-creased, which uh, pissed me off because this is a personal pair and I really don't like creases. Like this pre this pre-crease is more than I was ever about to crease these. So like kind of makes me not, you know, want to keep them as personals, but I don't know. Um We'll talk more about it later, but probably just going to keep them, you know, wear maybe once before the release and then afterwards get a different pair because this is killing me. Right. Got the black stitch jump man with the uh, purple outline. Oh, one other thing I forgot to um, talk about. I also worry about the crease. The leather on these is really nice and soft. Yeah. That is the front. They got that beautiful dark iris here on the midsole. And this leather is really like, um, I don't know, flexible is a thing to call it. This one, this left shoe, not as much as this right shoe, but it's a lot more softer here, and it just feels like, you know what I mean? It kind of like has a lot of give to it. It's not really like a, a tough, um, stiff kind of leather. That may be part of the reason why these uh, pre-crease so easily, because normally this really soft, um, easy giving leather just easily creases like it you see as all i gotta do is bend it a little bit like this and it'll crease so it has its positives and negatives it feels nice but creases easily and like i said that uh pre-crease really bothers me here's the other side i really like this uh dark iris color it's really nice here's the back you got black logos now when I first saw this part up here I thought they did something weird with uh, this part with this part right here but this is actually just like a little protector piece in between I guess it's supposed to protect this part, you know, right here from this part. I've never seen that on a pair of threes before, but yeah. Not actually, now that I say that, maybe I have seen that before. But if it was, like, I don't know, was it exactly like this? I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't really matter, but just somebody confirm that for me. Let me know. More dark iris on the back side of the tongue. Interior is black. And the insoles are purple with white logos. Can I zoom in? There we go. Here are the soles. Beautiful. They got that uh, black cement three sole just with purple instead of red. They come in this box, which is basically identical to the box that the Jordan Court Purple 3s came in. The, um, I always want to call them the Phoenix Sun 3s because that's the colors they are. Same box that uh, these came in. The only difference, you probably noticed it already, is this part right here. The elephant print has a different shade of gray on the uh, core purples than the uh, dark irises do when i first saw this box i just thought it was the same exact box i just realized you know now that i put them next to each other that um you know they had this difference the core purple jump is a little darker than the uh dark iris but other than that you know it's the same box here's the inside they have the uh white and gray elephant paper which is actually different these have this uh 
elephant paper on the inside, but enough about the uh, core purpose. And here's the box label. Here's a quick all around view of the shoe. I now see how they look on feet. Been doing this shit at no charge, and I need to get to the point where it pays For now. Real. I had to shit on them haters, then kill them with kindness, and that made them real mad. Salty. I was out chasing the money before I was driving. My sneakers had heel drag. Jump. I might just fuck up some sixes and sevens, but I will not cut unless she real I'm bad. Picky. She used to curb me, so I did her dirty right after I hit. I don't feel bad. I really like these. Super fire. Like I said earlier, I was intending on this being a personal pair, which I think I'm still going to keep them as a personal pair. But I'm really, really, really annoyed with this pre-crease because y'all yeah, may have heard me say before, I really do not like creases. Like, I don't like any of my kicks creases. As soon as I get a crease on a shoe, I kind of like don't want it anymore. Any shoe that I wear has very, very minimal to no crease. And even though this is, I, I can't even call this minor. Like, what's crazy is the shoe ain't even been worn yet. And it's already like, look like somebody walked in it. You know what I mean? So, nah, like that's, that's, no, no, it really bothers me. I don't like, like, for example, I don't like when I have a shoe and I wear it and I walk around in it and I get like a little baby crease. I have shoes that I've worn mad times that are less creased than this and those bother me. And I'll be looking at them when I wear them sometimes like, damn, man, maybe I should sell these and get another pair and make sure I don't crease them. Like, that's how much I hate creasing. So to get a brand new pair of kicks that I was mad hype about, like, again, and to see them already crease really blows my mind. Honestly, normally... I would have just changed my mind and just been like, you know what? They're coming out in what, like two weeks? So it's not like I got to wait that long. I'll just resell these and then get them on release day. And hopefully that uh, the pair that I get is increased like this. But the only thing is like, it's my man's bachelor party this weekend. Shout out to my bro, John. He getting married uh, next month and we having a bachelor party for them this weekend. And you know, I got to get fly and it's a perfect time to wear some unreleased shoes. So like, it's really perfect timing for these. And this crease is killing me. But just because... This is a special weekend. I think what I'm going to do is I probably am just going to keep, I, I, well, I'm going to keep them for now. I'm going to wear them this weekend. And come release day, I'll get another pair or, you know, maybe I'll have to get a few because I don't, I'm going to be real tight if I get a second pair and they come crease like this. But I'll get as many pairs of these. I like these so much. I'll get as many pairs of these as I need to until I get a pair without, you know, any type of factory defect. You know, when they release shoes, like, I'm so used to them having factory defects on shoes, like, I'm not, I don't even be tripping over it anymore. It, it, it's a regular thing. If you've been buying sneakers, we're all used to it. You know, sometimes the leather is wrinkly, the texture may be a little different from shoe to shoe. Um, you know, plenty of different things that are, if you really look at the shoe, it's like, damn, what is that? But, like, if you're, you know, if, if you're looking at them from far away or if you take a quick glance, those, like I said, I'm getting used to them. They're not that big of a deal. Not that I like that. I don't like that stuff either. But I guess, I don't know if I'm more used to it or it's just not that serious. But this is crazy and I can't do it. I'm just extra sensitive to it because I really hate creases. But, like, this is something, because I, I, I even looked at it earlier. Before I did this video, I looked at these from, like, you know, feet away. And I could see the crease from mad far, which really bothers me because... It's one thing if I could see it when I'm looking down, but to know that, number one, I could see it, and then knowing that other people could see it too, nah, that really pisses me off. So I may even have to stuff these with, with, with paper or something just to, just to try to get it out because, like, this kills me. It's really just a mental thing. Like, I'm not going to sit here and act like none of the shoes that I have have any type of creasing. I definitely have a couple of shoes that may have a little minor crease or whatever. But number one, if I wear the shoe and I walk around in it and you know what I mean? Yes, you know what I mean? And I have a little crease. Don't get me wrong. It still bothers me, but you know what I mean? And, and, and I still be looking at those pairs like, damn, like, you know, I, they, I got a little crease, man. Maybe I should sell these and get another pair. That still be crossing my mind. A lot of times it's like, it, it's not even worth it because the crease is never that crazy. If, if it's a really crazy crease, I will do that. But most of the shoes that I have, like all my shoes that are creased, it's minor creases like that to the point where it's just like, there's no point because if I get another pair, I may get another minor crease and it's just, you know, a waste of time and money at that point. But this, this is ridiculous. This is shoe has not been worn and there's no way it should be creased like this. Like I said, I'll probably wear these just once this weekend. I'll resell them whenever I can for, you know, as much as I can get. And then hopefully on release day, I can get a pair or two or however many I need to get in order to get a nine and a half for me that doesn't have any crazy factory defects like this. Or more specifically, doesn't have a crease like this because this is wild. But anyway, enough about that. The thing I really like, I really like the color on these. I really like purple. And what's cool about these is this is a really unique shade of purple. Now, that's good and bad because it's a different shade of purple. It's not like the usual court purple that we've gotten on both of the ones, the threes, the thirteens. It's 
a dark iris. I mean, to be honest with you, I didn't know what dark iris was prior to this <laughs> to this shoe being made. You know, I know I've seen it before, just didn't know what it was. But um, this is just a really beautiful shade of purple, and it's different. I can't really think of a Jordan off the top of my head that had this exact purple. You know, I was thinking about, like, Lavender 10s kind of had that, like, almost the same purple, but it's not even, it's, it's not like that. And then I'm sure there, there definitely probably is, like, one or two, you know, that I'm not thinking of right now. But for the most part, all I'm saying is this is an uncommon color. You know, it's not your usual purple. Only downside about that is it is pretty hard to match. Now, I know y'all are going to say, oh, they match this, they match that. And, you know, depending on what your definition of matching is, they might. I'm very extra when it comes to matching. I like my stuff to match, like, very perfectly. So I was looking at clothes before I did this video, and I really don't have anything with this exact shade of purple. So that's going to be an adventure, uh, you know, trying to find a shirt or a pair of shorts or something to, uh, you know, go with these. But it is what it is. Once they sell out on release day, I feel like they'll resell for around, like, 250 i'm sure the usual release date fluctuations will occur where once the shoe sells out after 10 o'clock uh, eastern standard time the price may go up a little bit and it might stay at like 270 280 for you know a couple hours or a couple of days and then afterwards the price will start to go down to around like 250 maybe even 240 i don't think they'll be tremendously hard to cop you know they'll definitely sell out but certain places you may have a relatively convenient time getting them. obviously depending on where you're located as far as holding um it's not a bad idea to hold them i wouldn't necessarily recommend it it's not like a shoe where i'm just like yo, these are definitely going to go stupid in the future. But, um, I mean, I always say every shoe goes up, so it can't really hurt. But it's just not, like, a shoe that I'm just like, yo, you got to buy these now before they go up. You know what I mean? So, if it's a shoe that you can conveniently get at retail and you want to make a quick, you know, 20 to 50 or maybe 20 to 60 at most dollars in profit, it's not a bad idea. But it's not something I'd go out of my way for or, you know, really invest a whole lot of money in. Good luck to everybody that's trying to cop a pair of these to wear. I wish you the best of luck and get them in your size for retail. If this video is helpful on form, in any way, I really appreciate if you give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're interested in more early reviews and other sneaker-related content, do us both a favor and subscribe to my channel. Just make sure you tap that little bell icon next to the subscribe button and select all. That way, when I put a new video out, you'll get notified and you won't miss out on anything. Thank you all for watching. Everybody, please stay safe and healthy out there, and I'll see you next time.